doctor who warned Prime Minister Boris Johnson about PPE dies with COVID-19. Here's a summary of the article. A doctor diagnosed with coronavirus has died, three weeks after he warned the Prime Minister that health workers urgently needed more personal protective equipment. On 18 March he wrote a message to Boris Johnson asking him to «urgently» ensure PPE for «each and every NHS worker in the UK». He told the Prime Minister that healthcare workers are in direct contact with patients and have a «human right like others to live in this world disease-free with our family and children». Dr Chowdhury was a locum urologist who worked at Homerton Hospital in East London and died on Wednesday at Queen's Hospital in Romford after testing positive for coronavirus. His 18-year-old son, Intizar Chowdhury, said, My father would not be afraid to point out what was wrong. Two weeks before his admission to hospital he wrote a message to the Prime Minister urging for better PPE. In his message to the Prime Minister, Dr Chowdhury wrote, Please ensure urgently PPE for each and every NHS health worker in the UK. Remember we may be doctors, nurses, HCAs, allied health workers who are in direct contact with patients, but we are also human beings to practice human rights like others, to live in this world disease-free with our family and children. Family friend Dr. Golam Rahat Khan said Dr. Chowdhury had been worried about coronavirus long before it reached the UK. He was telling me and other friends that coronavirus was very dangerous, he said. This post received a score of 83,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. He was only 52 and leaves behind a wife and two children. This is heartbreaking sad face. He was 52, a family friend who is also a doctor who was quoted in the article is 45 and for some reason they felt his age was relevant. It indicates that not only the elderly are at risk. Can't put young people in the front line and not thinking none of them will die. There are a lot of hypotheses that viral load plays a part in severity if he was treating people he was exposed greatly. Another possibility is that healthcare workers are very stressed and run down right now and thus even more susceptible. I know I'm only in retail and my anxiety is through the roof. I have to force myself to eat and I'm only getting like five hours sleep. I can't even imagine how healthcare workers feel. Everybody praises first responders and healthcare workers, as they should. But you retail folks are doing it for shit wages in most cases. If you're essential you should be getting a premium, or hazard pay or some shit. I get $2 hazard pay which is still shit but it's also a 15% raise from $13, it'd be nice to make more especially since I either have to take a lower with no pay or continue risking my family and I's health. I'm just amazed, at least in FL, still like 50% of people are strolling around the store just browsing or buying stupid non-essential stuff. If you really want to do retail work as a solid make a list of what you need and go to the store to get just that or if you can do an online order type thing like Target has for pickup. Yup, I don't fuck around. I am in, I am out. Only been to a store couple times for food. This is very appreciated by retail workers. Incredibly tragic. Hopefully when this is said and done we can have a proper remembrance for these heroes doing their work dutifully despite the incredible danger. Someone smarter on the internet than I said we call them heroes because they are underpaid, undervalued, and unsupported safety-wise by society. It's society's way of rewarding their sacrifice, when the whole shitty system shouldn't be asking so much of them while giving so little in the first place. I'm an RN working on a COVID unit and now the staff entrance is filled with signs and writing on the wall saying thank you and telling us we are hero and stuff like that. There are a few RNs out there who love the hero complex, most I feel like just want to do their job, safely and as humbly as possible. He died a hero to protect your freedom, not really but it's an easier painting to sell to the public than, he died so a rich man could get richer. I appreciate the rest of the world appreciating what I do, but we aren't heroes, we are sacrificial lambs that were given capes instead of masks. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.